Bye bye Biko, bye bye. And uh, let's go to Cebu now. Let's go guys. My own volcano. This is very small. Yeah, it's a small plane, yes. A propeller plane. To be honest, I don't like to fly those, but uh, yeah, we have no other choice. Thank you, bye bye. So we made it, guys. We're in Cebu. Oh, look at the weather, amazing. So I will see you guys soon at the Cebu Heritage Monument. Let's go, guys. And just like that, guys, we are here at the Cebu Heritage Monument. Look at this beautiful, beautiful monument. Seeing all those uh, sculptures in brass, bronze, and concrete. Amazing, right? Amazing. So we start our walk here today at the Cebu Heritage Monument. And uh, look at this. This is the Cebu Heritage Monument. It's uh, illustration and representation of sculptures made of brass, bronze, concrete and steel as you can see here guys and uh, it's beautifully made look at this beautiful ship it's a really beautiful ship Amat yeah what, what is this ship? this is the ship of Magellan only ship that they survived is it the, the ship that brought the cross? yeah uh, I think this name of the ship of Magellan is uh, ship of Victoria there is only one ship that survived in the expedition of Magellan. And uh, this ship is the ship that brought the cross of Magellan. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's an incredible monument. It's huge. And uh, it all depicts scenes out of the history of Cebu. Like you can see here, all different scenes what do you know this one Matt? Uh, from spreading from Christianity and when you see that kid on the top then they, they yeah carry it. they that carry is yes Santo Nino ah because Santo Nino because here this city started with the Christianity ah yeah 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 it's true the birthplace of Christianity in the yes, Philippines yes 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 that will be I think it's a proper place on Limasawa ah. for the started with the first mass of Christianity Oh, okay. Okay. And I, I think there are all religious buildings as well. I think that's the Cathedral of Cebu. Yeah, we could really see some nice scenes here in this monument. Like, for example, the conversation of Raja Humabon and his Christian followers, or uh, the Battle of Mactan, or the local revolution against the Spanish rule all on display here really really beautiful monument lovely sculptures they look so real you know it's like so well made incredible a beautiful first stop here on our tour in Cebu wow amazing how much is it 500 500 for both of them no, no, it's it's nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Can I see the pearl here? This is 
real pearl. You think so? Yeah. So Matt thinks it's a real pearl. Hmm. I have my doubts about it. Just from a seller in the streets coming up to you, want to buy a pearl bracelet? Hmm. I don't think it's a real one. But Matt says it's real, so. <laughs> it's my binder. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya. Are you happy yeah. with your uh, bracelets? <laughs> with the bracelet. <laughs> Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, they are real pearl. You think it's a real pearl? Yeah. When you you know you scratch on the same pearl and it. Like, now they all powder. come. <laughs> no, no. Then no, they no, powder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank That's you. real. And they put fire on the pearl. If getting burns. That's fake because of plastic, but it's uh, not getting burned. That's the real. Ah, okay, okay. Well, I still have my doubts, but uh, Matt's maybe is the expert on it. I'm not a pearl expert. <laughs> and uh, the next stop of our visit is only 50 meters away from this beautiful monument, and it's the Yap San Diego Ancestral House. Let's go there next. It's the oldest house in the Philippines. At least they say. I don't know if it's true, but we will check it out. So this house here seems to be the oldest house in the Philippines. Built around 1675. And it's also one of the oldest Chinese houses built outside China. And this place looks really interesting. I think we should take a look inside. Matt! Do you think we should visit this okay, house? Let's go. Yeah, we yeah. should do it, eh, right? Let's go. Okay, let's, let's visit this house. The oldest house in the Philippines. Let's go. It seems the structure of the house is built with a mixture of wood and coral stones. It's incredible to believe that this house is almost 350 years old. Incredible. Look at this door. The wood and this is the coral stone. Really nice, right? Hello. 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 You're hot, Matt? Yeah. Of course I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh look. I think this is uh, their picture. Yup, and San Diego. We got a nice painting here of the first Catholic Mass in the Philippines. And here this nice miniature vessel. Beautiful. Look at that, the detail. And then of course some uh, lovely shells. Yeah, this place is uh, beautiful. It has a lot of items. Look at the stairs. I hope it can hold my weight. <laughs> 350 years old. The song is very nice. Can hear you. Yes. <laughs> I'm really impressed about this place. There's so much to see here. Look at this antiquities, religious art, original furniture. It really gives you the feeling how the owners uh, were living here back then. Look at this. The table set up for lunch or for dinner or when guests were coming over there we have my favorite a relaxing chair in the corner beautiful 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 place some angels yeah it's really nice to check out the oldest house in the Philippines only 100 pesos per person to enter. Oh, they have more over there. Look at Mats. Are you enjoying yourself, Mats? Oh, I have meeting. Oh, hello. <laughs> meeting. <laughs> she has to work as well. That's Mats life. Always busy. Oh, bye, bye. look at this. Beautiful knives. Oh. It seems like they have like some Barbie dolls there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. Wait, 
Let's check it out. Look, it's Barbie dolls. Dressed up in some local dresses. Do you like this chair? Yeah. And now you need to lay back. And then you need to put your leg there and there. Because it's a birthing chair. Yeah, it is. I'm not joking. For? To give birth. So you're ready to give birth mats? <laughs> Let's. Because you're in because you're in the chair, so but I guess before you sit in that chair, we have to try this one. Yes. First step. Yeah, first the bat. Step. First try the bat and then we can maybe try that one. Yeah. It's not nice, eh? What I'm doing? All the scenes here. Yeah. And I'm making jokes like that. It's very spicy. Not good. Not good, Robbie. Not good. Bravo! Thank you so much. Right? You're welcome. Have a nice day. Yeah, really beautiful small garden as well with a lot of different type of plants. Oh, we have a well here. And of course, uh, we also have a man playing the harp here, which Matt enjoys a lot. Look at this house. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, eh? A beautiful flower like you, Mats. I will call it the Mats flower. Okay. What a nice place that was. I'm actually surprised about this place. I didn't know it was gonna be so beautiful inside with all the different type of artifacts inside, the furniture. Oh, a lot of religious art as well. And of course, I said it was 50 meters, but it's way less. Here is the monument already. We just visited and there is the house. So it's really, really close to each other. And I think, uh, yeah, it should be on your list when you visit Cebu. Now guys, uh, I'm getting quite an appetite, so I think we should eat something, right Mats? <laughs> <laughs> and what a better cuisine to try than the Chinese one, because we just visited the Chinese house. So let's go. As we were on our way to the Chinese restaurant, we passed by this beautiful, beautiful cathedral, the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. Look at this, how impressive it is amazing amazing look at it the architecture of the church is typical of other spanish colonial churches in the philippines with its thick walls built to withstand typhoons and other natural disasters yeah guys now let's take a look inside let's go mats let's go <laughs> it's a nice find actually on our way to the chinese restaurant we bump into this beautiful cathedral wow Let's check it out. We're now here in the inside of the church. Let's check it out. Wow, look at that altar. Well, that was a nice visit to the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral and now we just exit here and uh, we arrive at this 
place with all these food stalls along the road but uh, we're gonna try to find a Chinese restaurant Mats is in a hurry she's hungry <laughs> So where is that Chinese restaurant I read about? Oh no! Not good! It's closed! But actually I don't even think it's closed, I just think it ran out of business. So Google Maps did us wrong again. Look at this, it's not here anymore. So what we will do now guys? I have no idea. Another, um, find or what time is it now, Mats? 12. 12? If we get a taxi right now, we can go to Vikings Buffet and eat there. Because it's only open till 2.30. But it's something nice to do. I love Vikings so. Yeah. Yeah. But where we get a taxi? Yeah, or maybe just take a taxi from the side of the road. It's quicker. We're really not lucky, we cannot even yeah. find a taxi. One eternity later. So we arrived here at uh, Azam Cebu. And uh, let's hope that in Viking we can find some food. Because we weren't lucky this far. It's up, Mats? Okay, let's go up. Mmm, boku juice. It's over there. It's time to eat like a Viking. So it's 8.88. For a buffet. So let's go. All you can eat buffet. 888. Always start with some pepper sauce. Look at this. So juicy. You want some more? Some noodles. That was nice. So first serving, Mats and I. Let's try the lamb first. Mmm. Oh, the lamb is good. Mmm. Bread with pesto. Mmm. Could be better. Not crispy at all. Mm. That's some good pork. Yeah, the food is amazing here, guys. I really love the lamb meat. So good. So tender. Mm. Quite some food options here for everyone. There was sushi, pork, fish, noodles, rice. Mm. I love the noodles. Mm. There's a, a lot of desserts as well. Free drinks, unlimited beer as well. It's so weird. I go to these buffets and then I keep ordering the same because I like it so much. <laughs> there is Matt. What did you bring, Matt? Vegetable salad. Vegetable salad? Vegetable salad. Ah, you put some Strawberry. dessert already there. Strawberry cake. Enjoy, Matt. I keep ordering the same. The, the, the noodles and the lamb because it's really good. <laughs> So guys, isn't this the most epic dessert you have ever seen? Look at this. A donut, pineapple, some melon, vanilla ice cream, a pancake with chocolate sauce, 
some sweets on it chocolate brownie <laughs> incredible way to finish this meal at Vikings look at this <laughs> mm. so good Enjoy your ice cream, Matt. Yeah. Mango and vanilla. Enjoy. Vanilla and a lot of other garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's not good for me, but the garbage always tastes so good. Look at this beef, so good. This one was really good as well. Guys, I'm full. Are you full, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm sleepy. Yeah, sleepy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed our first day here in Cebu, and uh, I hope you guys will join us on our next adventure soon. Bye, bye from Robbie. Bye, bye for Matt. Cheers, you.